Former First Lady Rosalind Carter is lying in repose in Atlanta tonight. She died in her home in Plains, Georgia, earlier this month at the age of 96. Earlier this year, I spoke with the CEO of the Carter Center about how she worked with her husband, former President Jimmy Carter. How engaged and involved has, has she been in the center's work? I mean, are they equal partners? They are absolutely equal partners in everything they've done in life. And if they'd be walking through the halls, they'd be holding hands before they would come down to meetings. Uh, they were very much equal partners. Dr. Meredith Evans is the director of the Carter Presidential Center and Library. She joins us now. Dr. Evans, thanks so much for being with us. I know the First Lady's body will be lying in repose tonight at the library and museum so members of the public can pay their respects. But how else is the First Lady being remembered there? Oh, so that's a great question. We are um, sharing photographs. Um, we have a tribute on our website as well as on the website for the Carter Center. Um, we're just showing her legacy right now in images. Um, we are lucky. She blessed us with giving us her collection. So in a few years, we'll be opening a collection of her letters and her writings and correspondence. And so we're excited to really showcase her legacy from an archival perspective as well. When the first lady passed, former President Jimmy Carter called Rosalind an equal partner. Obviously, they were married for some 77 years, but in what ways were they equal partners? I think in all ways. I think they did everything together, but... Um equally at the table. She had her initiatives. They had initiatives together that they did, and they were supportive of each other um, in all aspects. And so, you know, that fight for the Equal Rights Amendment is um, a joint effort. Um, I think even time in the governor's mansion, um, she was the first woman to speak about um, the stigma of mental health before the state of Georgia, as well as in the White House. And so I think um, she, you know, she stood on her own, and two equals become, you know, a bigger whole. What do you see as the most defining part of her legacy? I think Mrs. Carter's defining um, part is her ability to work in the White House and beyond. I think um, there's a first, the First Lady has an office because of Mrs. Carter. The East Wing became her office, and that's this First Lady's office to this day. She had staff, um, she was a good manager, and she's a good writer. So I think her legacy really speaks for itself. Uh, I think people um, know her only as, you know, the former president's wife or the former First Lady, but really she's Rosalind Carter, and she has her own mind and her own things that she wants to get done. And Equal Rights Amendment was one. Um, the mental health is another, but caregiving um, and even monarch butterflies and, and wanting pollinators to continue to keep our environment uh, fresh and safe. So, And you've really worked to showcase some of that at the library and center. Yes, um, right now we have two exhibits up for her, um, just talking about her diplomacy and the Equal Rights Amendment, and we're expecting to do more um, as as things subside after, you know, in the coming months, we'll, we'll add some more materials to it, to the collection. All right, Dr. Meredith Evans, we thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and memories, and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.